Hello class, um, just a quick review of your EHR assignments um, for your course. I just want to review a few basic steps for you to understand the concept and how to approach your assignment using your um, classroom homework page and a different website that you're looking at right now called as your EHR Go website. And um, I want you to make sure you always uh, follow these steps as we go through them. So starting with your assignment page, your assignment page has the instructions and short videos to show you how to submit your assignment sheets. So please do follow them. They have your instructions exactly how to follow each step and submit First, you have to create a login page. You have to create an account with EHR. And following these instructions and these videos, then you also go to your uh, menu in which you are looking at how to set up your EHR. It will give you the instructions how to set up an account by following these two instructions, your login page, and the key to start your account. After you have um, created your account, you have to work on your assignment. Your assignment sheets are posted here, activity one, two, and three. And every assignment sheet has to be clicked here to get to the right page in your website. When you click here, you will access the EHR orientation in your um, EHR website. It will take you there. So once you click here, you will automatically be taken to EHR orientation page. And if you click here, you're not going to receive the documentation. So it has to be clicked here on the right location so you access the right assignment. So let's click here and get to the EHR website to follow instructions um, for what you have to submit. We go to EHR after clicking on the activity number one, that is your EHR orientation. We land on the EHR Go website. You will notice you see overview and resources. You see launch EHR, you see download work. These are all the various stages you have to follow in order to submit your work. So you are looking at overview and resources uh, on this page and you have to scroll down. This is where you will see your activity sheet. Okay, it says activity, it says orientation. This is the first sheet you have to submit. You will download this activity from here and you will access your assignment page, which is the Word document. You will also make sure to edit, enable editing in order for you to write on this assignment, write your answers on this assignment sheet before you save and submit in your Dropbox. So this is your EHR orientation. It is giving you your learning objectives, your student instructions. So everything, you should really read everything here so you know exactly what to do. Um, the activity itself is giving you the instructions right here. Um, exactly what this activity is all about. And what are these advantages of the electronic health records. Remember, this is a really good hands-on learning experience. Not only do you learn so much, but you can also use it for your resume and for your interview to show them your confidence and your hands-on experience on this electronic medical record. Now, as you go down, it gives you the instructions on what are you doing on this assignment. On the EHR Go activity patient dashboard, you select step one, overview resources, step two, launch EHR, step three, download your work. Once you download your work after finishing everything, you would use that folder or file from your computer to be submitted in the Dropbox in your course page for homework um, unit two. And then you follow the getting started. You can see how it is giving you individual steps of what are you going to do. In this assignment in or EHR orientation, you are actually just browsing to look and find the information requested in each of these questions, such as, how old is Jane Shriver? And you can see how it's giving you everything as you should be seeing in your EHR assignments. It is giving you the overview tab, how to look, how to find, how to get the information for every question. You can see all the questions posted here. You are writing your answers right here 
okay after you do your enable editing you are going to write your answers right here and save this word format in your computer and submit it in your Dropbox. So you have about 15 questions. Make sure you answer all of them. Make sure you write the answers right next to them and um, highlight them because that makes it more clear and visible for me to look at the answers that you are writing and then um, follow the instructions. Actually, it has 19 questions, right? 19, let me check more, no, 21 questions. So not even 21, 25, okay? So make sure you go all the way down, just like I'm not looking, so I don't know how many questions we have. We do have about, before you see the submit work, you should maybe be able to look at the question, the last question, which is the 30th question, and submit as given the instructions over here. Um, so it's pretty easy if you follow the instructions. There are literally not much to do. As we went through the assignment sheet, the assignment sheet is also giving you the instructions to follow the launch EHR. Launch EHR is where you start looking into the electronic medical record. Now you will see a new session. I already have one created, so I can follow this one if I'm already working on it. If not, this is the first time you're entering this, so you click on new session. You can always keep that. It stays there for you. You do not have to. Um, always start a new session. So once you enter a new session, you are now scrolling down the menu. Okay, this is your menu. This is giving you everything that you need. Overview, which is your information about the patient, any alerts, problems, vitals for the information, orders. Um, every information is going to be on your assignment sheet giving you the instructions as what are you doing are you actually looking for information are you trying to make any changes or are you adding information so remember this is all going to be on the instruction sheet so once you fin once you finished you close the session even if you close the session it's not going to disappear it will stay on your ehr page remember this is always going to be here like i created a new one i have the second one here and I can resume the activity if I want to. Once you finish doing all that, you can download your um, activity sheet from here. But remember, this is not the assignment that you need to download because you are, uh, you are actually working on your assignment sheet that you downloaded. But if you make any changes on this EHR and the assignment asks you to download your session, your activity that you created on the EHR, or your, orientation that is then that you download this assignment because you're already working on your downloaded sheet on this page on this assignment therefore you don't need to download work here unless asked by the activity sheet to do so in which you are going to be making changes within the EHR by itself let's say you change a, a diagnosis let's say you added a a, 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 an ICD code or a CPT code on your assignment sheet on your website. So if you made a change here, that is only that is the only reason where you will actually um, actually download an assignment at the end of the EHR website as we were showing you. This is where you will download this session, which is what you have done on the EHR. I hope that makes sense. But if not, please do contact me and let me know. I hope this helps you understand um, a little bit of what we are doing on the assignment sheets and contact me for any additional help if needed.